What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to smoke in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you all the tips and tricks you need, some best strategies, and of course some fun and easy combos that you can learn today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is where you're going to see this is the universal language that we're going to be using so everybody knows what we're talking about. If you want to be a master of pressure and a master of mix up, well, damn, Smoke is going to be your guy. Smoke is an absolute animal. I mean, just for starters, you have your back two three combo. That's an overhead low and Smoke has multiple of those. So you are completely mix up your opponent and it's disgusting. So to start off, your most useful starters are probably going to be your back two, three. You have your forward three, two, and that's a low overhead. Again, just a crazy mix-up. You can finish that into forward three, two, four into another overhead. And a lot of these can be canceled into any special moves you have. So again, your back two, three here. You can do back forward three into this special. You can even do your down back one special after that combo. Speaking of your down back one special move, it's kind of an anti-air, a really good anti-air for that matter, if they start to jump. And the best part about it, this is a true tale of how smoke really wants to be in your opponent's face. If you enhance it, watch this. Here's what happens when we enhance it. It pulls our opponent towards us, allowing us to go in for the mix-up. So if you want to do that back two, three, down back enhanced, bring him to you, then go for the pressure starter. Really good strategy there to not let up the pressure. More combos that you're gonna be using the most of is your three, two. And you see why that's gonna be your air pop up for air combos. Really quick, four smokes air combos. You have three really good options here that all have different properties. To a good point, we have one, one, two, we have two, one, one, and we have three, four, four. So using our three, two to get him in the air, here's our one, one, two, our two, one, one, and our three, four, four. And what's cool about the air combos is you also have an air special, your teleport, your down back four. And after thorough investigation, I found that only one one in the air can lead into that. So if you do your three, two, one one down back four, it'll connect, but no other string in the air cancels into that. Again, you have your forward three, two combo for a low overhead, and that can also cancel another specials. We can do our back forward four after that. We can even go into our down back two after that as well for an overhead mix up. And again, if you really want to get mixy and really put the pressure on there, do that combo, but it hatch your down back two. Now you're invisible. They really have no idea what you're going to do now. So what I like to do is four, three, two, enhance the down back two to go invisible and then do another four, three, two to constantly keep my opponent guessing. Again, just to reiterate your standard era pop-up combo is going to be your three, two. What's really cool about that is you can dash and do it again into more combos. Keep in mind, with your four to one, two, that combo ends in a grab. So you can press forward grab or back grab for that combo and choose where you want to throw your opponent. So four to one, two, forward grab, it'll throw our opponent, you know, away from us. And then four to one, two, back grab, it'll throw our opponent behind us. And you can connect all of that together. For some good normals, keep in mind, your down three has got some pretty dang good range and it's a good low as well. They might not just expect a low from this far. Speaking of range, keep in mind as well that your back two, three is full screen. Not the first hit, but you know, the second hit. So the back two, three, that low will hit from full screen. And that's cancelable into special move. Smoke's best wake up options is honestly gonna be your down back two. And the reason why is that gains armor with your enhancement. Keep in mind, enhancing it, you will be invisible. So a big strategy and a big tip for Smoke is you wanna learn how to fight when you're invisible. Because that's a great wake up option, but you have to use the enhancement to get the armor, but using the enhancement also puts you invisible. And if you don't know how to fight when you're invisible, it's not gonna be a great wake up option, even though it's your best one. So if we wake up when we get the armor, and now we're invisible. Smoke's two primary objectives are to stick to the opponent with constant pressure and mix-ups. You're going overhead low. You're going low overhead. You're going invisible for Pete's sake. Then you're going to go low overhead. You're going to go invisible and maybe go for the grabs. They might not expect that. If your opponent wants to projectile you and try to zone you out, psych, our back forward three special move is projectile and vulnerable. So they're zoning you out. Okay, psych. If your opponent likes jumping in, again, the best strategy is your down back one special move, an anti-air 
but again, you want to enhance it to drag your opponent towards you for more constant pressure. Smoke is all about the pressure. Another crazy strategy that might take some time getting used to is canceling Smoke's back forward three special move. The special move that gets you really to your opponent full screen, that's great, but you can cancel that special move by pressing back and block during it. And by cancel, I mean you completely cancel it. And you could do that inside of combos as well if you practice enough. And if you want to get through projectiles but not do that move because it might be unsafe for you, you can get in and then go for the mix-up. Again, it might take a lot of time to practice that and get used to it, but it's going to be the source for a lot of his sauce. What I like to do is cancel it and then go into my combos. Side note, your down back forward teleport move is a low starter, which is crazy for a teleport, and it switches you sides. So if you're in the corner and you don't want to be in the corner, down back forward is a great option to get out of it. And if you also want to switch sides but go for the overhead, instead of doing down back forward, do down back two. Overhead switch sider. Now for some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Guys, let me know down below what do you think of smoke in mortal kombat 1 do you like him do you hate him subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time